Alright, so what we'll do is we'll just grab everything here. Control C and under. Just go all the way back and then tab to make sure that the indentation is perfect. And now we duplicated everything. So now we gotta distinguish. This is the first one, second, third, and fourth. Right under here is gonna be the division, which leads us to the single axis movement. So here we're just gonna get rid of the AND D key, so it's set to W key only. I'm gonna deactivate the forward right, and I'm gonna activate the forward alone, because this is only the W key. And then for this one, uh, we'll remove this, set it to S key, make sure you have the colon there still. And we're going to deactivate this one, the forward and right, and we're going to activate the back because it's the S key. Of course, we add our comet here to to show that it's that it's actually now one of them is enough to to create a comet. You don't have to have two, but I like to put two to make it more uh, distinguishable. And now here we want the D, so I'm just going to remove this portion and keep the D. Deactivate back and right, and activate right. And we're going to put our comment here. And now remove this. Well, actually, let's fix this up first. We want the uh, the A key, so we're going to remove the S key end. We're going to keep the A key. Uh, we want to make sure that we deactivate the back and left, and we want to activate left alone. All right. So now we should our movement should work perfectly. So let's test this out. You can see I move forward, it points forward, back points back, D points right, and left points to the left. Now when I combine, I can see that it moves perfectly. So there you have it. A perfect directional movement system. And we can test it out on our camera. Now I don't know why I have a bit of lag when I run this in game. Uh, but without a recording program running, you should be perfectly fine. And if we check our console, now you notice it stays, the, it keeps on pointing at whatever direction you were pressing last. Uh, so that's a neat feature. There you go, you have your basic directional movement. I hope you enjoyed this video, just going to be checking the console quickly, and we can see that it's a completely flawless run. Uh, so yeah, this is directional movement for you. Uh, feel free to use this movement. I know a lot of people sometimes ask me uh, if, they, if they're allowed to use what I teach them or whatever. Yeah, you're perfectly allowed. Uh, you can't copyright logic or movement systems, right? So feel free to use this uh, in your games if you're making a game with uh, such a control scheme. If you have any suggestions on the next tutorial, feel free to message me or even post a comment. Uh, if you like this video, press the like button, subscribe, and see you guys next time.